Well, my story begins on March the 10th, 1981. It really changed my whole life. It was a day I'll never forget. I crashed an airplane. <laughs> I ended up in the hospital completely paralyzed. My spinal cord was crushed. I broke the first and second cervical vertebrae. My swelling reflex was destroyed. I couldn't eat or drink. My diaphragm was destroyed. I couldn't breathe. All I could do was blink my eyes. The doctors, of course, said all my life I'd be a vegetable. All I'd do is blink my eyes the rest of my life. That's a picture they saw of me, but it didn't matter what they thought. The main thing was what I thought. I picture myself being a normal person again, working out of that hospital. The only thing I had to work with in the hospital was my mind. As long as you have your mind, you can put things back together again. I was hooked to a respirator, and they said I'd never breathe on my own again because my diaphragm was destroyed. But this little voice kept saying to me, breathe deep, breathe deep. Finally, I was weaned from it. They were at a loss for an explanation. See, I could not afford to allow anything to come in my mind that would distract me from my goal and from my vision. Well, I set a goal to walk out of the hospital on Christmas. That was my goal. Eight months later, I walked out of the hospital on my own two feet. They said it couldn't be done. That's a day I will never forget. For, for people that are sitting out there right now watching this program that are hurting, if I wanted to sum up my life and sum up uh, for people what they can do in life, I would sum it up this way in six words. Man becomes what he thinks about.